Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Canute. Saint Canute the 4th of Denmark, the son of King Sweyn the 2nd, Ethelstan, and a grand nephew of King Canute the Great of England and Denmark, was a deeply religious man, frugal and austere in his habits. As a successor to his brother Harold Hand to the throne, he had the welfare of his people and the propagation of faith equally at heart. In the political field, he checked the depredations of pirates, subdued his barbarous neighbors, and even planned an invasion of England to drive out William the Conqueror, a plan which was brought to naught through the treachery of his other brother, Olaf. In temporal matters, Canute attempted just administrative reforms. In matters ecclesiastical, he generously patronized several churches and founded the new cathedral of Roskilde, which was built of stone and is still the burial place for the Danish royalty. In the sixth year of his reign, a rebellion broke out in Denmark, and the king, with his brother Benedict and seventeen retainers, was surrounded and brutally murdered during mass in the church of St. Alban at Odense. Canute was cut down while at the foot of the altar with arms outstretched. He was appealing to God for mercy and to pardon his enemies. The numerous miracles occurring at the tomb of good King Canute, the father of blessed Charles the Good, Count of Flanders, attested to his sanctity leading to his canonization at the hands of Pascal II in the year 1101. The relics of this saint, the patron of Denmark, lie enshrined in a 12th century wooden reliquary in Odense.